How you doing guys? Today we're going to go over using an automatic tuner. This is going to be the MFJ-993 Bravo. MFJ-993 Bravo tuner on a radio that doesn't have the fancy interface cable. Uh, these tuners are very capable of doing so. It just requires you to key up. If you do have a fancy ham rig and that has a cable, you can get an interface cable. They're a little easier to use. This isn't bad. So we have our little stinking Lincoln too from President. Yeah, best radio out there. I love them. And got an MFJ tuner. So I'm going to show you something quickly. Um, these tuners, of course, this one has two antennas, antenna one, antenna two. All right. What they do is they will store, actually, after we start tuning, they will actually store everything in memory. So if you switch antennas, um, you want to clear that memory. So I'm just going to show you quickly right off the bat how we do that. So you're going to hold tune and C down after you pick your antenna, power it off, C down and tune, you're going to push them in and you power it back on. Delete antenna one, yes is C up, no is L up. We're going to go yes. So that's going to reset the whole tuner. Even if I switch radios, even if I switch radios, I'm going to reset this tuner. So remember, CDN and tune in with it off, turn it back on, and then C up to reset. So now we're showing 0 megahertz, 1.5 SWR, 0 forward. Okay, so we're going to get to the meat, of the pota meat and potatoes here. How do I tune my regular CB without a stinking interface cable? Well, MFJ thought of that. They have over here and auto. Auto out is for your interface cable. Auto in is for a regular CB that doesn't have an interface cable. Now we're going to set my RF power about halfway. You want to give it at least a good two or four dead, you know, two or four watts of carrier. You go to your AM side and what you will do is you will key up and you will hold the tune button for a couple seconds. If you quickly whack the tune button, you'll bypass it. If you hold it for a couple seconds, it will go into what's called semi-automatic mode. And it will now tune my antenna from this 1.5 SWR that it thinks it's seeing now to a very good match. So I'm going to go ahead and key up. Okay. You can see over there at a 1.5. I'm going to key up and I'm going to hold two. One, two, three, let go. There we are. We're now tuned to a perfect 1.0 forward 11 reflected 0.0. Get on key, key up. If you want to bypass it, okay. So this frequency 27165 is now at a 1.0. We got full 11 power reflected. Now we're going to go off the charts here to a different band. Let's go up 28065. Okay, let's go up into 10 meters. And it's clear up there. Okay, I hear nobody on the ham frequencies. So now we've just changed from channel 17 AM to way up in 10 meters, 27165. We didn't change antennas. Going to bring our power just a little bit down. Going to go on AM just to tune it. Nobody's on the frequency. The frequency's clear. I'm going to key up quick and show you. Okay, hold tune. And yeah, we're still good. We got 9.8 forward, one reflection. Let's go up a little higher. Let's go to the edge of where I can talk. Let's go to 27500 and key up. And there. SWR is 1.6, reflection of 0.7. I'm going to go over here, key up, hit our tune button. You'll hear it working. There. 1.0 SWR forward 9.5, zero reflection. Okay, that's how the tuner works. Very quick. Now I'm going to go back down into my channel 17 AM. And this should be already in the memory. Okay, I key up. See, it's 1.7. Now watch. 
Hit the tune button, boom. Bang, bang. Instant change. Now, that can be a valuable thing for you guys if you want to use the tuners. I know without the tuner and stuff in line, I got a very good SWR on the AM40 channels for, for 11 meters. I like to extend my antenna up in the 10 meters because I talked there as well. So I kind of branded my antenna a little differently where it's kind of, you know, it's still acceptable, but a tuner definitely helps. So we're going to go back down here to, let's go to channel CB1. What I like it is it has the frequency counter on there too. Let's go down to channel 1 here. Okay, 26965, half power. And we're going to see what our SWRs are down there. Not too bad. Um, showing the frequency there. You can also tune it. Just hold it and let it go. And there it is. And you can see over here on the meter, if it'll adjust in there for us, we have zero reflection right here. We have no reflection on this meter, full power going out. Zero reflection. I'm going to go back up to uh, 17, key up. Got a little bit of reflection. Okay, see right there? A little bit of reflection. So we're going to hold the tune button, let it do what it needs to do. There it is, made its noise, boom, and down. Okay. So now we have very, very little reflection here, if at all, on channel 17. There we go. Now that's only half RF power. Audio. Audio. Okay. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how quick it is to use an auto tuner on your regular CB Redidio. Um, different modes here. This mode shows just your output power on key up. This mode just shows your SWRs. This mode shows like the Pico Ferrets and you can adjust all them with these buttons here. Um, and this mode is going back to uh, showing everything here. So again, just a quick overview of the um, 993 Bravo Teletuner I just got. It handles two antennas. And I'm pretty happy right now. Hey, you can take this thing up way up to the end of 28 megahertz and get like a 6SWR and whack the little button and bang, bang, bang. Now, it's fooling the radio to a match is what it's doing. You still want to have a resident antenna if you can get it, but guys like me who can't afford a million antennas or don't have a lot of yard space, you get something in the ballpark, you'll be able to transfer for a couple seconds on them. So, uh, hope that was helpful. Take care.